I am with the Papa Shangos and a bird has christened our interview space. <laughs> we, have, we have the bird's blessing. Yes, Thank the you birds bird. enjoy us. You had a brilliant set tonight. Everybody loved it. They were just so involved with it. And it's, I want to say it's almost more like a cabaret type <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were trying to work out what, what genre we were yeah, a couple of years ago. We couldn't yeah, find one, really. We toyed with sort of punk cabaret, garage cabaret, and now we're just, I don't know. Whatever, whatever gigs we're talking yeah. about, we just kind of tailor the genre to that. And but you're just the Papa Shangos. They are the Papa Shangos, yeah. That's the genre. How did you come up with the idea for Papa Shangos? Will? Uh, well, originally, uh, there was only two of us originally. Uh, if, if, we're, if we're going really, really far back, uh, then we kind of like played a few gigs and we're like, mm, yeah, it's how about this. And then like we got Lawrence in, mm. and then that kind of like just just changed, <laughs> just changed like the whole, you know what I mean, the whole like the whole ethos of of what we were doing. You know what I mean? Like we were like punk. You know what I mean? And then it's like we're doing this, we're doing that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, so yeah, you know, it's kind of that really. You know, it's like I, I'm a really shy, quiet person, and about. It must be getting on for 10 years ago now. I was playing bass in an electronica act called Easy Voodoo, and I fancied doing something on my own. So I worked up some backing tracks, and they were terrible. And I started doing gigs, and they were awful, and everyone hated it. And so the more people hated it, the more I got in their faces and ran around and jumped on tables and serenaded people. And then I never got any better, but I lost any fear of being on stage. I went from being terrified of being on stage to being the place I'm most comfortable. I went for various bands, and I... I, I, there's a band called Johnny's Squizzicro Experiment who are excellent, a really good band. They were improved so much by me leaving them. <laughs> they really were. I did one gig with them and it was we awful. We were saying that earlier, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Every, every band you've been in and left has improved. And left has got better. <laughs> so if I leave you lot, you're going to be superstars. And Mad Foxes, I used to sing for them and they got better since I left. There's no, no denying it. Um, and it just clicked with the Papashangos. We did. I was chatting to you for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some to and fro, should we, shall we not? Did one rehearsal and I, and yeah. I just, I had to hide the lyric in my hand for, uh, I want to get fucked uh, up, wasn't it? No, Billy Rubin. Billy Rubin, that Billy was it. Billy Rubin. And he just said, that's it. We've, we've got our singer now. You, you just nailed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it just came together. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it, it, it was kind of like, like me and you. Like like the others, like there's five of us in, in Papa Shango's. Like this, there's us two are kind of like, Kind of like on the on the on the on the same. Yeah, we're the Glimmer Twins. Yeah, yeah. They always look kind of like just. I mean, yeah, ah, we'll they, they, I mean, they're great. We'll do that. I love yeah, what they yeah, do. Yeah. They just go with the flow with what yeah, you yeah, guys come up yeah. with. Oh, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite, yeah. When the whipped enough. Start a band beef. Yeah. <laughs> when the whipped enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um. What has been your most ex interesting experience with the Papa Shangos playing live? How about, um, we got banned from a venue and the manager said he wanted to vet every band that played there after us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you have so to not, tell us why. It's not often that, well, uh, I, I, I didn't play that game. He didn't play that yeah. one. That's the problem. Yeah. We, so we, um, can we blame you for that? Yeah, we can actually, yeah. I got a bit, I got a bit carried away. Um, I was, I've got this crappy solo act called Mr. Hot Gothic where I have a backing track and I sing over it and shout at people and run around and do the same kind of stuff. I, was, I did a, just a 20 minute solo spot for someone for that and uh, he, he messaged me the day of, it, of the gig and said someone's dropped out, headliner's dropped out, can the Papa Shango step in? He was away. I said, ah, we, we can't do it, ah, I'll just play bass and sing, it'll be fine. Okay. And I was horribly wrong. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh they cut us short and... Uh, well, it's, yeah, you say it was terrible, but you know what I mean? It wasn't good. You got banned from a venue. I know, I like, I like <laughs> the fact we got banned though. Yeah. It's always a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. It, it must it have been nice story. spectacularly bad to it get was. banned. People were leaving. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> left today though. No. That's oh, because he oh, didn't have an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a bassist for a long time, but not a very good one. And, uh, and it came unstuck because I found I couldn't sing and bass at the same time. Ah. So I did neither really. And it, uh, <laughs> it undermined the sound, I would say. Just a wee bit, probably. Still talking about it. Yeah, that's all that matters. Well, mainly us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's only one thing, only one thing worse than people not talking about you. Yeah. Being anyway. ignored. So. I yeah. said that monk. Yeah. What else have we done? What's, what else? Which way is our best gig? I'm trying to think. Where, where have we absolutely just wowed? Oh, well, how about how about that one in Berry? 
You know it's a good oh, gig yeah, yeah, when yeah, half yeah, the audience yeah. buys merch. Like, yeah. Wow, yes. And they yes. share it. The pair of them shared it, it was great. <laughs> yeah, there was, yeah. There there was two people. people playing that yeah. night. But they bought yeah. a t-shirt. <laughs> Just cut in half, half to you, half to him. But this, this, is, for me personally, I would play like, I was, I was talking to, to, to our guitarist earlier. At the end of this year, we played like something like 50 gigs. Yeah, I know. It, give or take. For a band that's like two years old, that's, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that, that's quite a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm always seeing it coming up that yeah. you guys are playing this, playing yeah. that. Yeah, we're quite, we're quite, we're quite busy. We kind of had work. Yeah. It, the problem is getting rehearsals in. Well, that, well, that's it. It's like we kind of like always like, for me personally, for me, it's like we regurgitate and set all the time. I, I would, I would sooner like rehearse. New yeah, Will's are like, right, can we drop the intro? Let's drop Delilah, yeah. I'm getting sick of that. Yeah, do, yeah. Can we drop this, can we yeah. drop that? I'm going, no, no, because people like those songs. And, and I get like, I get the point. Yeah, it's like, I just wish we could work up yeah. another new, another set. Yeah. We've got about an hour with a bit of, with a bit of me gabbling in the middle mm. and a, a couple of weak songs. Yeah. And we need to have two hours of strong songs. And it's just finding the time to sit down and do it. So. Every, 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 like, every time we go, we're getting for rehearsal, it's for the next gig, you know what I mean? So there's no like, it's not like yeah. like it's no development best bite, is it? Moment. It's like but after the summer, I reckon we've got we pair of us have got I don't know how many new songs just brewing, mm. waiting to come out. It's Probably just like, about eight or nine. If you, on, on, yeah. Yeah. Give it to you. You guys need to take a little time to work yeah. on those songs and, and just well, increase the repertoire. Like this. It's like gigging. It's like you know what I mean. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. button, isn't it? It's like for it's it's for any band. It's like oh, absolutely. it's what you do, isn't it? You know what I mean? Absolutely. But it, it's, you got to be careful because it's like you gig too much, too much, and it's like. Mm, we're playing like the same yeah, thing. Yeah, no, no, you time, can't gig too much. No, you can't. And this is where we need to have a bit of an arm wrestle, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're going to, no, we're not. Like, arm right. wrestle. Is that how we set it from now on? <laughs> I'm going. But speaking of tonight, you created and organized and have promoted this festival. What inspired you to do the Unholy Festival? Uh, just a bit of a mad idea. I thought there are. There are I'm not sure we're quite unique, but we do something that's different. Mm -hmm. And there are other bands that do something different as well. And I thought it'd be nice to have a, a thing where everyone's together and it's all the bands that do something a bit different yeah. rather than three blokes in cargo shorts going like that. Yeah. There are great bands who do that, yeah, but right. I wanted something different. And so I started making a short list of bands I wanted and it ended up being 50 bands long. <laughs> but I ended up here, I was chatting to Weeb from Dirtbox Disco, um, talking about the, like, this idea because I was kind of hoping I'd get Dirtbox involved in it mm. and he said well I actually work in this place it's called the Victoria Bikers Pub You've got three stages and a camping and I said well oh, okay mm. so I know I was only going to do 10 bands in one day but how about if we do two stages 50 bands three days and it just it mm. kind of Group. I'm really impulsive and I went from just this sane idea to this completely insane idea and I've been working seven months to make it happen <laughs> and it has and it has and are you happy with how things have turned out oh just ecstatic <laughs> the best I, thing for me I've said it I can't believe it to be honest it's like it's like pff, I don't know there's people turning up part time it's like yeah, all yeah. these bands and like all the bands are watching each other but like watching each other it's like I can't believe it. yeah that's it, me, it's like, the, it, on, it, it is it's mental it, it, it is a bit like I, I, I've, I've got a friend who's, <laughs> he's, he's not like, he's not really into like... Oh, Steve? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's like, I can't believe this. This is like, <laughs> you know, the best weekend. Like, even he's not even got tonight for good, like, to go yet. He's like, he's had the best time. And, and that's what it's about, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah. like, you know what I mean? That's what there's I'm no saying. Like, there's no words of grace about anything. It's like, you just come, you have a good time, and that's it. Yeah. But that's, that, that's it. Well, I think you called it the weird and the wonderful. Is weird that it? Ball. Weird and raw. Yeah. yeah, weird and raw. Weird and raw. And it certainly has been that. You know, raw bands. Mm -hmm. It's your Billy Clubs and your Army of Skanks. Yeah. They've got they've got more power going? and bullets. Hey, Derek. This is Derek uh, the Ferret. Right here. Hello. Derek the Ferret. Hello. Welcome to MPRV News. What's... You got tomato sauce in your face. That's not tomato sauce. <laughs> uh, You've got red on you. <laughs> what have you been doing? He's a guitarist. And... Desmond. As you guys said on stage, Apparently you're the only one who can play. Is that true? He's your, yeah, well, yeah. Say that again. You're the only Apparently one who... you're the only one who can play. Is that true? Uh, you, said, you, said that. you said it. You did. Say it. You, did. <laughs> you did. You did. Did, did. did I? Yeah, you yes. Did. This outside is getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a big league guitar player. <laughs> I don't remember saying that. You did. Jesus. 
I'm glad anyway, you remember I'll it. What, I'll tell you what. I don't know about the only one who can play, but in most rehearsals and most gigs, is the only one who never fucks up, almost without fail. Very few exceptions. Solid yeah. as a rock. I think on that note, I will say thank you very much. Thank you for having us here, yeah, and I hope you do it again next year. Yeah, that, that's the idea. Yeah, bigger Great. and better. Great. Weirder, weirder and rawer. Even better. That's, that's, that's Can't say that. In fact, we've actually on the back of this. Rawer. On the back of this. <laughs> We decided to go into partnership and actually set up a promotions company called Weird and Royal Promotions, Warp. Nothing's really happened with it yet, we just got the no, name well, and the idea. Really We've got a venue in Bolton we're going to start working on. It's going yeah. to be 12 months' time, it'll be a thing to look out for, I reckon. Look out for that one. Thank you again, guys. Thank you so much.